Hello there. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you uh, some tips and advice about how to be super confident when you go in to take your final IB diploma exams at the end of your two year course. I've been a diploma coordinator for many years, helped hundreds and hundreds of students go through these exams in many sessions. So I'm hoping some of my tips and advice will help you uh, prepare and be confident as you as you take your exams. So let's begin. First thing, um, it's not actually on the screen, but the first thing to mention is the uh, revision revision planner. Very important that you have a revision planner in the days leading up to your exam, so you know what you're going to study and when you're going to study it. On the day of the exam, obviously be very sure firstly which exam you're taking and when, when the, uh, the start time is. And I would say aim to get there around about 30 minutes before the exam begins. Your school may have obviously slightly different advice. But 30 minutes at least means you're not going to be rushed. You've got time to get centered, get focused, really think about what you need to do for this particular paper um, and not be not be rushing in at the last minute. In terms of what you can bring, uh, blue or black pens are the main thing. Bring a bring a few in case some run out. Um, most pretty much all the exams uh, expect you to ask, answer using blue or black uh, ink. OK. Gel pens and highlighters are allowed for marking up questions and text in paper one or group one, for example. That's OK, but it's very important you don't use highlighters or anything like that in the actual answer booklets or anything that gets sent to IB. Um, the reason for that is just sometimes uh, they, they can, ink can fade or become unclear. Similarly, very important that you don't use pencils uh, on the actual answer booklets. Um, I had a student uh, in the past who did write one of the papers in pencil and when it got to IB it was pretty much all faded uh, so it's very difficult for them to mark so uh, you, you can bring pencils in but uh, be very careful you don't use them to actually answer the questions basic geometry set that's fine that's okay calculators are okay for certain exams again your coordinator will tell you which which ones they are um, if you do have them uh, they'll need to be checked by your teachers beforehand so certain programs of or apps have been removed and then they'll be they'll be absolutely fine good tip as well as to bring in a couple of spare batteries for the calculators translation dictionaries are allowed for certain exams um, a translation dictionary is literally just the word and then the word in another language it doesn't have examples uh, those are the only kinds that are allowed your school may provide them or if you have one show it to the coordinator your diploma coordinator in advance of the exams and see if they approve it OK, uh, they're possible for some exams, but not not certainly not all subjects. OK, moving on and um, some, some other things to focus on what you're not allowed to bring in. Uh, cannot bring correcting fluid or Tipex or anything like that. White out. Definitely not allowed. Uh, water bottles are allowed, but you must remove the labels. The labels are not allowed in um, and also food. You can't bring food in unless it's for a medical reason. You'd need to tell your coordinator in advance. Uh, mascots, some people bring in lucky mascots, that's that's okay. Again, do need to pass them to your coordinator as well, just to check they're, they're okay. Now, when you go into the exam, um, there'll be a, it'll be a, it'll be a fairly, fairly strict type of conditions. Um, and the aim of this is to make sure that every IB student around the world doing these exams has the, the same kind of experience. Okay. Um, so that means there's a few things that will happen. Firstly, there's no talking and no communication of any kind, body language, signals, thumbs up, that kind of thing. Uh, no looking around, don't communicate in any way with other people in the room. Just get seated, focus on what you need to do and get on with it. Uh, very important about electronic devices. Um, you can't bring your smartphone or anything like that or, or smart watches, anything like that, a band from the exam rooms. Uh, and indeed, if you have a bag with you, it should be in a separate room from where the exams are taking place. If you have a phone on you, even if it's turned off and you don't declare that during the exam, that can be a big problem. So uh, make sure phones and everything are away. OK, now starting the actual exam, when you come in, there'll be a few bits of paper on your desk. Uh, first one will be a blue cover sheet. Uh, you may not have seen these if you've done mock exams because IB pre-prints these uh, for everybody individually and sends them out just before the exams begin. So the, the blue cover sheet will have your name, candidate number, uh, the subject, the level, higher or standard level, um, and 
the basic information about yourself uh, for this for this particular paper. Make very sure that you have the the right exam in front of you. Uh, these are usually pretty accurate or very accurate. Uh, it's very rare that these are incorrect. But if there is a problem, um, then you need to put your hand up and, and say, uh, for example, sometimes you have higher level and standard level um, exams going on in the same room. Uh, make, if you're doing standard level, make sure you get a standard level question paper, for example. You'll also get some answer booklets. These are A4, uh, four page, four sided, four, four page uh, leaflet booklets. Um, these are generally where you write your answers for a lot of the exams. Um, there's no scrap paper. So if you need scrap paper, you just use an answer booklet and then cross a line through it when you're finished. Question papers as well. Um, some of the exams, you write the answers on the question paper underneath the question. And some some exams, you write them separately on the answer booklets. It should be fairly obvious um, which is which. And indeed, the question papers will explain that to you. Uh, for some subjects, you also get formula booklets, case studies, this kind of thing. They'll be ready waiting for you uh, when you come in and also graph paper occasionally. And currently for the sciences, paper one is multiple choice. Uh, so there'll be a separate sheet uh, where you fill in the multiple choice uh, answers there. Um, it's not too confusing after you've done a couple of these. It's pretty obvious the best the best advice if you're not sure what goes where. If it's got a hole punch at the top on the top left, then it's going to go to IB at the end of the exam. If it doesn't have a hole punch, it probably is not going to go to IB. OK, so starting the actual exams, you can see an example of the answer booklet here. Uh, you fill in your, your candidate session number. The first part on the left is the school code. And the second part, the four digits, is your actual number for that session. So 0012, for example. Uh, candidate name, write that, your official name. Um, and then underneath, you can start writing your answer. Um, in the left-hand box, uh, you'll see space for two digits. That's where you put the number of the question you're answering. If you go onto a new answer booklet, put that number again at the top, uh, just in case they get separated, uh, so you know where you're where you're going. Uh, if you do use graph paper, just write C answer booklet, and then in the answer booklet, you write C graph paper, just to get to let the examiner know what to look for. So whoever's starting the exam is going to say a few words at the beginning uh, just to explain <clears throat> the basic rules. These are going to be almost the same for every paper that you do. Do pay attention to them, do focus, because uh, it can sometimes, you can sometimes spot a couple of things that need fixing. So you'll get the instructions first. You'll then get five minute reading time for everything apart from the sciences paper one. Uh, for those, you go straight into answering. But for everything else, five minutes reading time is in addition to the exam time. So if it's a two hour exam, it's actually two hours, five minutes. Reading time is, is very important. It's, re it's really more thinking time. It's a chance for you to flick through the questions. You can open up the question book, question sheet, have a look at the questions, think about the ones you want to answer, um, think about how you want to answer them that kind of thing. You can't highlight, write, or refer to a dictionary during that time. Um, but once that time's over, you're exactly, you're, you're, the uh, invigilator will tell you this, you can start writing. Okay. Uh, there's no bathroom breaks in the first hour or the last 15 minutes. So make sure you've visited the bathroom if you need to beforehand. And also really read the questions very carefully and the instructions. Um, Every year, usually somebody manages to have a problem with this. Um, if it asks you to only answer two questions, only answer two, because if you do three, the examiner will only mark the first two. So be very sure you know um, how, what each paper is, what the requirements are for each paper. And then once it's over, uh, you'll get a little string tag, which is two bits of plastic with a string be between them. And you pop that through the, the hole that I mentioned earlier, um, put all the papers together and bingo, everything will be in order. This is the order you do them in, blue cover sheet on top. So that's what IBC is first. Uh, then an exam paper if there is if there are answers inside only. Uh, and then answer booklets and then possibly graph paper. And that's it. Um, it's not a memory test, though. Your coordinator is going to be there to explain and um, show you what to do. So don't worry too much about that. They will, it's, it's also their job to collect it and make sure it goes off properly. So that's, that's absolutely fine. 
And I guess the last tip once it's over, um, a few basic things. Don't take any of the material with you out of the room. Uh, that's definitely not allowed. Um, and in general terms, focus on what you did well uh, rather than what you, you maybe had a problem with or didn't show. Uh, that's that's very important. Um, focus on what you can do and rather than what you maybe have or are not able to do. Um, one of the other rules is you're not allowed to discuss the paper uh, beyond your own students, your, your own cohort, your own group of students uh, for 24 hours after the exam. That's very important these days. And, and in general, just try it. It's very difficult to say as well, but move on as quickly as you can. Uh, try not to dwell on, oh, if only I'd done this or I'd said that. Uh, very few students come out of the exam thinking they've nailed it completely. Um, do the best you can, answer what you can. You'll get credit as much as possible for that, uh, rather than worry about what you should have said or could have said. That's that's not so productive. And there'll probably be another exam around the corner. So try and focus all of your attention and your energy onto, uh, onto the next one. All right, there we go. I hope that's been of use to you. And if you are taking these exams soon, um, very best of luck to you.